I recently got some questions about voltage and current and how can the uh, current increase and if we're using a generator how can the generator increase the current so basically we got some questions about Ohm's law and some engineering questions thrown in there too well, I'm going to start with a one and a half volt battery and the engineering problem is we're going to want to light a bulb and it might uh, draw one amp or it might draw a half a amp at three volts so obviously we need to add another battery and I'm going to choose to use D cells that should should supply enough current and here's some more of the circuit now we've got uh, a connection to the negative side of the 3 volt supply and our bulb and we need one more item we want to be able to turn this thing on and off whenever we want to so we will add a switch so now we have the diagram of a flashlight now I'm going to add an amp meter here and you can see that with the switch open in this position nothing is happening the bulb is not lit and there are no electrons flowing however if we close the switch the bulb will light and we do have current flow the electrons are flowing from the negative side to the positive side and the bulb is like I said it's lit just like we would expect a flashlight to work now again this engineering problem we said it it, could, it needs to handle either uh, one amp or a half amp and what that means is we have to design the power supply to be able to handle the highest load in this case an amp so if that bulb is three ohms we have three volts using Ohm's law it's drawing one amp however if the bulb is six ohms now the current flow in this circuit is a half a amp so once you have the power supply designed to handle the engineering specs it's the load that's going to determine the current in the circuit okay I've got this meter centered on zero right here so we can see a deflection positive or negative this is a pretty strong magnet and it's on top of an aluminum case and when I bring the magnet close to the coil here and move it around you can see that we do get a deflection because the magnetic field is cutting across the wires in that coil now I had you know several questions about generators and how they produce electricity and also how can they produce more current notice what's happening here when I move in one way it deflects positive and when I back the magnet out it goes in the negative direction well one way that you could produce more power is to speed up this process
But notice what happens here. The magnetic field's still there, but notice that there's no current. The magnetic field has to be cutting across the coil. In other words, either the magnet has got to move the magnetic field, or the coil, the coil itself has got to move. But when they both stop, and the magnetic field is no longer moving across the wires, there's no current flow. Okay, now I've got this hooked up to the primary of a power transformer. I'm going to try and keep the magnet from touching the windings because it is hard to move. But notice it's the same thing. I'm producing a magnetic field mechanically in this transformer. And when those when that magnetic field cuts across the internal windings, it produces current. If you want more information about the subjects in this video, please download the Navy electronic course and I have supplied a link to the download page in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.